Hi everybody, welcome back to Andino Spanish School. My name is Rodrigo Perez and today we are going to talk about the preterite, the past tense in Spanish. Vamos! First of all, the preterite in Spanish is the equivalent to the past simple in English. I walked, yo caminé. We're going to use it to talk about facts, about concrete actions. For example, yesterday I woke up at 6 a.m. Ayer me desperté a las 6 de la mañana. María trabajó 8 horas. As you can see, we have a new thing to deal with in the language, which is that accent. That accent is called tilde. And all it indicates is that you should raise your voice on the vowel that has the tilde. The tilde is always going to be on a vowel. The way you pronounce a verb with accent, with tilde, is very important because it is going to define what subject you're talking about or what tense you're using. Now, when do we use the preterite in Spanish? We have four specific cases when we're going to use the preterite. First case, actions and events that started and ended in the past. Ayer compré un carro. Case number two, an action that is interrupting another action in the past. For example, estaba en el aeropuerto y vi a Shakira. The second part of that sentence is in preterite because it is in something that we're going to call the concrete past, something that can live by itself, something that started and ended in the past and it was not a habit, you're not setting up the scene, it just happened. And you can easily say, yo vi a Shakira, and that sentence can live by itself. Caso número tres. The third scenario when we're going to use the preterite in Spanish is when we're going to use specific times and dates. For example, ayer fui al dentista a las 8 de la mañana. And case number four, when we're talking about beginnings and endings. El partido comenzó hace media hora. And now, how do we build sentences using the preterite in Spanish? If you guys remember the verb structure in Spanish, we have the stem that stays the same most of the time for regular verbs and the ending, which is the one that we modify. We modify it to make that verb in present and we're going to modify it to put that verb in past. The regular verbs are going to follow this structure. So for an AR ending verb like caminar, yo caminé, tú caminaste, ella caminó, nosotros caminamos y ellos caminaron. Notice that the ER and IR endings are the same. So there's basically only two rules, AR and the other rule for the other two. But what if we're talking about irregular verbs? Verbs that, like in English, the irregular verbs follow their own rules. And there is a very important thing for you to know. That is that both the verb ser and the verb ir have the exact same conjugation in preterite. Other verbs like dar, to get, or saber, to know, are also irregular. We have created a list of irregular verbs that you can go and check out and download for free in andinospanishschool.com slash learn. Now, let's learn how to deal with reflexive verbs in preterite. As you know, a reflexive verb ends in S, E in its infinitive form, like for example, to wake up. The first thing that we're going to do is take care of that S, E at the end. And we are going to do that by putting the reflexive pronoun before the verb that matches the subject that we're talking about. And then we're left with an AR verb in this case. So, and now we apply the rule that we have learned. Yo me desperté. Now let's practice. Let's do affirmative sentences, negative sentences, and questions. Ella corrió 10 kilómetros ayer. Carlos trabajó 14 horas. Nosotros fuimos a India. 
ella no corrió 10 kilómetros. Carlos no trabajó 14 horas. Nosotros no fuimos a India. Ella corrió 10 kilómetros. Carlos trabajó 14 horas. Fuimos a India. And that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for being here. There is a free PDF that you can download on the link below where you can find all the information that we have covered on this video on top of other extra information that is going to help you understand the portrait better. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to take your Spanish to the next level, visit us at andinospanishschool.com. You're going to find a bunch of free resources for you to improve your Spanish. And if you want the help and the guidance of a Spanish native speaker to take your Spanish to the next level and improve even faster, go ahead and book a lesson. Mucha suerte con tu español y nos vemos en el próximo video. Chao.